it's a great time of year for vacations, and that includes vacationing in the comfort of your own home. Brooklinen is here to keep you cozy all summer long with their award-winning sheets and home essentials. Brooklinen is the internet's favorite sheets, and according to Wirecutter and Good Housekeeping, Brooklinen has best-in-class bedding. So if you don't trust me or their 100,000 five-star customer reviews, you know these experts have done the research. Brooklinen uses only the highest quality materials for all of their products, so everything they create is built to last. I've been sleeping on their super soft, luxe sateen sheets, which is great for this time of year. And the graphite color goes super well with the rest of the room's decor. So shop in-store or online at brooklinen.com today to give yourself the luxurious sleep you deserve this summer. Use promo code OHD for $20 off your online purchase of $100 or more, plus free shipping on brooklinen.com. That's B R. O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N dot C-O-M. Use promo code OHD for $20 off plus free shipping. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2242. How many days does it take to recover from a sore throat? By Corey Whelan with Healthline.com. And I'm your host and narrator, Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy middle of the week Wednesday and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily where I read some of the best health and fitness blogs to you, always with a bit of my commentary at the end. Now, because today is Wednesday, I like to share a little bit of inspiration with you. So with that, here we go. Quote, When you are kind to others, it not only changes you, it changes the world. Rabbi Harold Kushner. All right, and with that, let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. How many days does it take to recover from a sore throat? By Corey Whelan with Healthline.com. How long does a sore throat last? The duration of a sore throat depends on what's causing it. Sore throats, also known as pharyngitis, can be acute, lasting only a few days, or chronic, lingering on until their underlying cause is addressed. Most sore throats are the result of common viruses and resolve on their own within 3 to 10 days. Sore throats caused by a bacterial infection or allergies may last longer. At-home treatments and prescribed medications can affect the length of time you experience symptoms from a sore throat, such as pain, scratchiness, and trouble swallowing. Listen on to learn more about sore throats and what you can do to improve your recovery. How long do sore throats from viral infections last? Most sore throats are caused by viruses, such as the flu or the common cold. They can also be a symptom of other viral conditions, such as croup, measles, and chickenpox. Sore throats caused by viruses don't require antibiotics. They usually go away with minimal treatment of symptoms in 10 days or less. At-home treatments and prescribed corticosteroids can reduce the discomfort of these sore throats, which typically go away when the underlying infection resolves. Sore throats caused by mononucleosis. Unlike sore throats caused by other viruses, those associated with mononucleosis can last for as long as one month. Mononucleosis is an infectious viral disease caused by the Epstein-Barr virus. Antibiotics aren't effective against mononucleosis, but corticosteroids can reduce the swelling, inflammation, and discomfort associated with sore throats caused by this condition. How long do sore throats caused by bacterial infections last? Bacterial infections cause sore throats less often than viruses. When they do occur, your doctor may prescribe antibiotics, such as penicillin or amoxicillin. Antibiotics can shorten the duration of a sore throat quickly. They may help reduce pain and inflammation within one to two days. When not taking antibiotics, bacterial infections and the sore throats they cause may last anywhere from a week to 10 days. Sore throats caused by bacteria can sometimes be associated with a more serious illness. For example, sore throats caused by a bacteria called Fusobacterium can result in a complication called Lemierre syndrome. Sore throats caused by this condition may resolve within four to five days, but can then recur, along with other more serious symptoms. Sore throats caused by strep throat. Strep throat is caused by the bacterium Streptococcus or group A Streptococcus. Strep throat typically requires treatment from a doctor and may require antibiotics. Once you begin antibiotic treatment, strep throat symptoms should dissipate quickly. You may begin to feel relief from symptoms within one to two days. After beginning antibiotics, your symptoms should disappear completely within one week or less. 
How long do sore throats from post-nasal drip last? Post-nasal drip can result in sore throats. Some common causes of post-nasal drip include the common cold, sinus infection, gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD, and irritants such as smoking cigarettes, air pollution, and allergens. Sore throats caused by post-nasal drip may be chronic. That means your throat may be sore until the underlying cause of the post-nasal drip is treated. How long do sore throats following surgery last? If you require intubation during surgery, you may have a sore throat when you wake up. During intubation, an endotracheal tube is inserted through the mouth and down the throat into an airway. Intubation is used to help you breathe with a ventilator if you're unable to breathe on your own during surgery. Post-surgical dehydration may also cause discomfort or scratchiness in the throat. Drink fluids and speak as little as possible to avoid post-surgical sore throat. In many cases, symptoms should clear up within a few days. If you have a sore throat that lasts for more than a week following a surgical procedure, let your doctor know. How to manage a sore throat at home. There are many techniques you can try at home for soothing and relieving sore throat pain. They include gargling with warm water and salt to loosen mucus and reduce swelling, drink honey and lemon mixed into warm tea. This can help coat your throat, making it less scratchy. You can also experiment with different types of teas, such as chamomile or licorice root. You could take ibuprofen or Advil or Motrin or another pain-reducing medication. And drinking lots of fluids to thin out mucus secretions from the sinuses and soothe the throat. When to seek help. If you have a sore throat that's causing excessive pain or lasts longer than 10 days, see your doctor. Also, keep an eye on symptoms you may be experiencing, which might indicate more serious conditions that require antibiotics, such as strep throat. These symptoms include fever, chills, swollen lymph nodes in the neck, rash, body aches, headache, and nausea or vomiting. A sore throat may also indicate tonsillitis, which is an infection of the tonsils. It may be caused by a viral or bacterial infection. Other symptoms of tonsillitis may include swollen tonsils that look red or are coated with white or yellow pus, pain when swallowing, swollen lymph nodes in the neck, fever, bad breath, headache, stiff neck, and stomach pain. Tonsillitis is most common in children ranging from preschool age to high school, but it can occur in adults too. If you or your child get tonsillitis often, your doctor may determine that a tonsillectomy or removal of your tonsils will help. The bottom line. The amount of time a sore throat lasts is determined by its cause. Sore throats are most often caused by viruses and often resolve on their own in less than a week. Bacterial infections can also cause sore throats to occur. These may take longer to resolve completely. It can be hard to tell the difference between a viral and bacterial sore throat. If you have severe symptoms or symptoms aren't improving after a few days, see your doctor. You just listened to the post titled, How Many Days Does It Take to Recover from a Sore Throat? by Corey Whelan with Healthline.com. Business owners know that hiring the right people can be a real challenge. Make it easier with Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform helping over 3 million businesses do it all. Attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates. With Indeed's instant match feature, over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates the moment they sponsor a job. I especially love that if you invite these or any candidates of your choosing to apply, they are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash health. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at indeed.com slash health. Just go to indeed.com slash health and support the show by saying you heard about it on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. ¿Estás disfrutando de mi podcast? Thanks to Babbel, I know what that means. Do you? Instead of paying hundreds for a tutor or fooling yourself with language apps that are little more than games, Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to help you speak a new language in three weeks. Babbel is designed by real people for real conversations. All of Babbel's tips and tools for learning a new language are approachable, accessible, rooted in real-life situations, 
and delivered with conversation-based teaching. And that's what puts Babbel ahead of the rest for me. It teaches you a lot of the lingo that you won't necessarily learn in school, but instead would learn only by speaking with locals. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash OHD. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash OHD. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash OHD. Rules and restrictions may apply. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. One of the most important takeaways from today's article is this. If your doctor says that your sore throat is caused by a virus, antibiotics won't help you feel better any faster. Antibiotics are only helpful against bacterial infections. So, how can we feel better faster if we have a viral infection? The traditional not-so-exciting advice is best here. Rest up and drink plenty of fluids. Now, what about dietary supplements that might help with recovery? Like, What about vitamin C? Sadly, most studies have found that supplementing with vitamin C doesn't seem to really help us recover any faster from a viral infection. But studies have shown that using zinc lozenges might be helpful. Now, zinc lozenges are different from zinc supplements. They mainly differ in their dosages. Too much zinc can quickly lead to zinc toxicity. So I don't recommend taking a zinc supplement without a doctor's approval. But you could try an over-the-counter zinc lozenge if you come down with a sore throat to see if that helps. And to say again, if your doctor says you have a viral infection, please don't insist that they prescribe you antibiotics because they won't help. All right, that does it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday and I'll see you back here on tomorrow's show where your optimal life awaits.